How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with intriguing beer time. Just picked this up off the shelf. Six pack for a reasonable price. We got a little bit of Sierra Nevada. Yeah, is there summer break? Is a session hazy IPA, 4.6% alcohol by volume. No story time on here. Yeah, it just says a session hazy IPA. I don't know what's up that weird barcode sheep they're doing there. I'm sure it means something that I'm missing. Um, 4.6% alcohol by volume. Yeah. This says it was packaged on 325 today. I believe it's 425, 427. So it's a month old. Uh, I did not know they came out with this. I stopped by like, oh, like, um, just place them away from work. Sometimes they have good beer. Sometimes they don't. And just caught my eye. I was like, okay, Sierra Nevada, sub 5%, a little hazy. It's got to be good, right? It's kind of got to. Uh, Leewise, all right. You know, it's just a river with a tire swing and hops and water. What are you going to do? Looks like Sierra Nevada can. And as far as the beer goes, yeah, it looks like a hazy pale for sure. I mean, that is like super low ABV haziness, kind of like highlighter and water under a black light kind of kind of uh, vibrance to it. Very much summer in the glass. Pretty soapy, neurotic kind of edge to the... Um, to the head itself, white as white could be, but it just looks all the part of a super summer crusher. Let's see if we can get a nose. You know, you jump into these Sierra Nevada beers, and immediately, you know, just from history, we you want to lean into those more kind of aggressive old school sea hops, your Chinook, your Cascade, Centennial, stuff like this. It's very much a soft lemony lime citrus kind of brightness nothing overly juicy it's more zesty more spritzy than that um but it definitely has that new school kind of edge to it there's this really nice soft kind of almost like pilsner malt with a touch of like a little bit of flaked wheat kind of vibe going on malt wise which i appreciate it honestly just smells like summer in a glass it's kind of what you want a sub five percent super chugger let's dive in cheers I'm going to drink all the 60s in nine minutes. It's tasty. I mean, it's not super aggressive. Sub 5%, you'd almost automatically lean into, well, it's sub 5, so it's not going to be. I've had very aggressive sub 5. I have very aggressive sub 4% hazies. It's a little bit even below some of that. It's super drinkable, chuggable, but it's not thin. It's got a softness, almost like a fluffier version Kind of like, um, I guess, a wheat beer kind of mouthfeel to it. Um, without that kind of wheat beer classic kind of a banana phenolic and stuff like this. You're getting the wheat kind of characteristic in the taste and in the nose. And you're getting that kind of mouthfeel. Very much kind of wheat beer kind of vibes. There has to be wheat in here. But it's using kind of like an old school like Chico kind of uh, like a uh, Conan kind of yeast or something like that. Or even, eh, I'm not even a venture, I guess, what the yeast is. But it's basically letting the beer be clean and crisp and, and drinkable in kind of the way the Kolsch is almost like a like a cold style IPA, but having that nice kind of Pilsner malt wheat kind of characteristic, which is what I assume they're going for here, what they put in here, and is really nice. Like I said, I say lemon lime kind of citrusy kind of hop, and that there's this vibrance, this this this, um, this kind of summer like kind of vibe to it, this ultra brightness that you want from these low ABV beers, but a lot of them don't really pull it off. So you're getting it here in spades. And just a really tasty beer. You know, you're talking about, was I, I played like 11, I want to say like 11 bucks, maybe 12 bucks for a sixer. That's where this should be. Price wise, I got a six pack of it. First one out of the shoot. I'm not going to say is Mount Rushmore status level kind of sub 5% hazy for me, but it's worthy of the conversation. And it's definitely leaning towards the top. It just lacks just a subtle bit of aggressiveness. I know it's kind of counterintuitive. You talk about a session beer, you don't want that aggressiveness, but a little bit more vibrance would have been nicer. And that probably would have been a little bit more to my personal liking, but a very tasty beer nonetheless and really, really good. So like I said, yeah, definitely in there. Uh, leaning towards the top, just not much more status. Value and availability on this, like I said, Sierra Nevada, pulling off shelf, 10, 12 bucks a sixer. You're not gonna go wrong there and leave you with it. If you like what well, we like this, if you like drinking beers during the summer, you know, that's what this beer is supposed to be. Look at the can, look at what it is. And it's pulling that off with with, uh, with a plum. Um, yeah, it's just an absolutely delicious beer. Fantastic. Sierra Nevada through and through, clean, crisp. Actually, and I keep kind of thinking of wheat beers. I'm getting kind of like that, that um, they did like a hop. They did the Brow Punk series with Wine Stefaner, but they did another 
um, hop edition, and I forget who else it was. It's like amalgamation of this kind of wheat base Pilsner thing with this nice vibrant hop. So if you dig on kind of old world kind of drinkable beers, table beers, let's put it that way, you're going to love this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out through the social media stuff. Beer Massif. If you want to check me out through the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying. We'll see you in Nevada right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.